Let's try to explore the first difference of an exponential function. So what is an exponential function? So exponential function is, uh, let me write generally, f of x equals to, in general, let's write b to the power of x. That kind of a function where x is in the exponent is called an exponential function, right? Here, do you know the restrictions? Here the restrictions are that b is always greater than 0 and b is not equal to 1. Okay, why it is not equal to 1? If b is equal to 1, then what happens? 1 to the power of x is always what? 1 to the power of anything is always 1. So you don't really get an exponential function. Exponential function means which grows very rapidly. But if I put b as 1, in that case 1 to the power of 0 is 1, 1 to the power of 1 is 1, 1 to the power of 10 is 1, 1 to the power of 100 is 1. So it is no more an exponential function. It is just a constant function 1, right? And how about 0 or less? If 0, 0 to the power of anything is 0, so it also becomes a constant function, right? And if I write uh, negative values, then what? Think about it. Negative value, is it a continuous function? It is not a continuous function. What happens if, if I write negative value and if x is even, then I get a positive power, right? And because negative square will be positive, right? even to the power of 4 will be positive. So for all even values or exponents, I'll get a positive value. And for all odd exponents, I'll get a negative value. So we are flipping from positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. So this, the graph is not continuous at all, right? So that is also not considered as our exponential function, okay? So those are the restrictions on our base B, right? And uh, X could be any real number, okay? Now, let's explore some type of this function. You remember that first difference? First difference is the difference between the consecutive values of y, right? And what is the first difference for a linear function? First difference for a linear function should be? You remember doing, like, if I write y equals to 5x, then uh, write on different values of x and different values of y and find consecutive differences between the y values what do we get as the first difference for the equation y equals to 5x? Well, for y equals to 5x, we should get 5. First difference is 5 for that, right? A constant, and normally that constant value is the difference itself. Okay, how about, so how about uh, 5x square? What should be the difference for 5x square? Well, in x square, you found that the second difference is constant, right? And the first difference is 1, 3, 5, 7, like that, odd numbers, right? Series. Uh, and if you multiply by 5, it should be 5 times 1, 3, 5, 7. Correct. So, so it's like that. Now, let's see what is it when we are talking about exponential functions. So let's take some examples, okay? Let's take the x value here and simple 2 to the power of x, correct? So for x equals to, I'm not taking negative values for simplicity. For x equals to, let's say 0, 2 to the power of 0 is 1. For x equals to 1, 2 to the power of 1 will be 2. For x equals to 2, 2 to the power of 2 will be 4. For x equals to 3, 2 to the power of 3 will be 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, it's not 2 times 3 is 6. No. It is what? It is 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Okay. Now, x to the power of 4 is 8 times 2. 16. Is it okay? Like that, we can continue. Okay. Maybe let's go to 5. Like that, we can continue. Right? So, 5 will be, we have to multiply 16 by 5. Right? We get 32. Right? Now, to find the first difference, what do we do? We do the difference between the consecutive terms. Right? So we find the difference between this, 2 minus 1, 4 minus 2, 8 minus 4, 16 minus 8, 32 minus 6, correct? And then we write down our value. So 2 minus 1 is 1, 4 minus 2 is 2, 8 minus 4 is 4, 16 minus 8 is 8, 
32 minus this is 6. 16 itself. Do you observe something in this first difference? Right? Do you observe something? Let me call this as the first difference. Think about it, okay? Meanwhile, what I will do for you is I will write another, take an, another example, right? And we will this time to x and we will write the powers of 3 this time, okay? So see x and this is 3 to the power of x, right? You can fill this up like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? Anything to the power of 0 is 1, anything to the power of 1 is the number itself and then we keep on multiplying the previous number by 3, right? 3 to the power of 2 means another 3, right? 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27, and 27 times 3 is 81, and so there we, we can go on, right? And here also you can find the first difference. First difference you know is what now? That is you are doing 3 minus 1, 9 minus 3, 27 minus 9, correct? So this is what you're trying to do. And what do you get? 9. Uh, so 3 minus 1 is 2. And 9 minus 3 is 6. And uh, 27 minus 9 is uh, 18. And 81 minus 27 is from 1 to 4. And then we'll take 7 and 54. That's what we get, right? Like this, we can get our first difference for different values. Do you observe anything here? How is this 1 times 2 times 2? This is very clear, right? So the first difference we see every time, it is times 2, right? So here, the pattern is like times 2. Is that okay? If this is pattern, is it times 3? Let's check. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 3 is 18. 18 times 3 is 54. Oh, yeah, it works, right? Times 3. So, in any exponential function, what we are going to observe is that the first difference is multiple of this. Do you see that? That's, that's our key thing, right? So, if you find the first difference, and one thing, you find the values rapidly increasing, right? They're not increasing arithmetically. Right? It's a geometric series multiplied by a factor of. Do you see geometric? So, you see a geometric progression here. Is that okay? If you see that in the first difference, in that case, you get an idea that the function should be an exponential function, right? So first difference increases by a factor of something, right? And that something is normally the base of our exponent, normally, right? It could be transform function also, but it gives you an idea that, uh, that it is an exponential function, right? So first difference is kind of a geometric series. And that is we are talking about first difference, okay? So if first difference is kind of a geometric series, then we know that we are looking into an exponential function, okay? Thank you.